Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, random short, random show. Next on English episode number seven five, no seven seven five. What's happening? What's crack a lacking? Hope you're all well wherever this live stream may find you, and this podcast and whatever else you're listening to. Hope you are doing well wherever this little show may find you. I hope you are all doing swimmingly. Today's a special day because Drake has replied back to Kendrick after the incredible, incredible thought provoking this not like us. Drake has responded back, clapped back to the old Kendrick and proved me right, right? He's proved me right because I knew all along that he was that guy. He wasn't going to let, you know, Kendrick come on and dance on his head top. So he's back in full effect, proving me right. I'm so happy this is the case. So, first time listening to it, haven't checked it out myself. Going to be listening to it with fresh flipping ears. So for those of you who've already heard it, don't spoil for it. Don't spoil it for me in the chat, okay? Don't be flipping mugs. Don't spoil it for me. Let me listen to it by myself on my own, like a big boy, and let's hear what Drake has to say regarding what's going on now. So let's go. The Heart Part Six featuring Drake response back to Not Like Us. Fingers crossed it's good. Fingers crossed it's good. Let's fucking go. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, we're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. That was good. First line already. I'm fucking feeling it. Let's fucking go. We're going to rewind that back. We're going to rewind about that. That was good. Pull it surprise winner. Yeah, bro. Let's fucking go. You don't take your Pulitzer Prize to the club, bitch. Now let me see you. Prove it. Just let me see you. Prove it. All right. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. Mm. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. Mm. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Mm. Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? Mm. 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. Mm. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. Mm. My Montreal connect stand up, not far down. Mm. The ones that you getting your stories from, they all clowns. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. I knew he would have let me down. I fucking knew it. Not like us was hard one to come back from. Not like us was hard to come back from, but he's so far, he's proved me correct. He is who we say he is. Drake is who we fucking say he is. Oh, God, that was good. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Bear with me a second as I rearrange some things on my side here. <laughs> Yo, one more time, one more time. Rewind that back, rewind back, rewind that back forward. Come on. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial? In where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. We got to get this volumes up. We have to get the volume up on here, man. While well, going for this, why does it feel like it's too low? All right, cool. It's not too low now. Let's get this all up and going, bro. We need to get the volume up in this bitch. Fucking up, 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 up. Let's go. Let's go. One more time. Now let me see you. Prove it. Just let me see Now let me see you. Prove it. Just let me see you. Prove it. All right. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connect stand up, not far down. The ones that you getting your stories from, they all clowns. 
I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. Ooh. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. Ooh. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. You got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. <laughs> My boy, my fucking boy. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. Hey, big up the stream chat. Um, big up Moogie. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you, Moogie. I think if I wasn't such a fan of the musicy, then I probably wouldn't be as cocked in as I am now. I think there's a bunch of people who just kind of, you know, blanked out of this because I've, I've definitely seen there's a different reaction and locked inness from the first couple of disc records to now. I think some people are just not even paying attention to it. There's a side of the internet that just doesn't care what's going on with this. Um, I feel like everybody was really locked in at the beginning, but now it feels like, you know, it's almost like, do you know when you go to like a house party and like, you know, it's like ladies and fellas and then somebody somebody grabs an ox and then depending on who, what tune plays on the ox is very much dependent on who stays. So if the, if the fellas get the ox, then most likely the ladies leave. That's what it kind of feels like. It feels like all the ladies have left, <laughs> all the gays have left, and it's just us lads listening to this shit. No one else is clocking this shit because, you know, it's a bit exhausting. These guys going back and forth. That's what it kind of feels like. So I definitely understand what you mean, man. This is a lot to kind of pay attention to. But, you know, what can we do? What else do we have to do? Let's fucking go. One more time from the fucking top. No interruptions this time. No interruptions for me. One more time. Let's fucking go. a prize winner is definitely spiraling i got your fucking lines tapped i swear that i'm dialed in first i was a rat so where's the proof of the trial then where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in 1090 jake would have took all the walls down the streets would have had me hiding out in a small town my montreal connect stand up not far down the ones that you getting your stories from they all clowns i am a war general season in preparation my jacket is covered in medals honor and decoration you waited for this moment overcome with the desperation we plotted for a week and then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old i bet he takes it we thought about giving a fake name or a destination but you so thirsty you not concerned with investigation instead you in that venice studio it's a celebration you gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient your fans are rejoicing thinking this is my expiration even the picture you use the jokes and the medication the maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation master manipulator you bid on a speculation you you dumb and reactive nigga, I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh. Come on, bro. Come on, let's go. One more time. Let's fucking go. No fucking delay. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal Connect stand up, not far down. The ones that you getting your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome. 
come with the desperation We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it We thought about giving a fake name or a destination But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration You gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation Master manipulator, you bit on a speculation You dumb and reactive, nigga, I'm petty with dedication What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why is it Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave Free and I miss the morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now This Epstein angle was the shit I expected TikTok videos you collected and dissected Instead of being on some disdirect shit You'd rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit My mom came over today and I was like Mother, mother I, mother I, mother I, I, mother I, I, I Wait a second, second. that's that one record where you say you got molested Oh fuck me, I just made the whole connection This about to get so depressing This is trauma from your own confessions This when your father leave you home alone with no protection So neglected that's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with It's so excessive, they acting like it's so aggressive But you just never known affection I don't wanna dish you anymore This really got me second guessing Touch my body by my ride, carry play You probably start reflecting I never been with no one underage But now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with Just for clarity, I feel disgusted I'm too respected If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested But that's not the lesson, clearly there's a deeper message Deep cuts that never healed And now they got infected Like if Dave really fucked your girl And got her pregnant Talk about freedom resentment Not sure how to ease the sentiment This shit's too intimate I'm praying you recover from both incidents But you a piece of shit So this shit really no coincidence Drake has got a name That you gon' see on no sex offender list Easy does it You mentioned that A minor But niggas gotta be sharp And tell the fans who was it You thought you left D flat D major I slit your throat with the razor uh, Rick Ross air like that one flight from Malaysia I'm your baby mama's saver Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns I never look twice at no teenager I'm a fucking hit maker, dawg, not a peacemaker Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber Yo ass in extreme danger Stop buying views and buy comments You may as well keep the big good shit you about to need for later I give a fuck about your streaming data You could drop a hundred more records, I'll see you later yeah, maybe when you meet your maker I don't wanna fight with a woman beater It feeds your nature If you still bumping R. Kelly You could thank the savior So if they can leave his music And your music is going to a hypocrite I don't understand why these people praise you Sounding like you sent him commissary When he needs some paper Album dropping soon No wonder you turn to clout chaser Instead of doing hard labor Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia and Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like Woo! it's good to get out, get the pen working. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out though, like you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. <laughs> I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you. Yeah. Bring you back to the game. Yeah. Right? You know, Talk your shit. Talk your just shit. Just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. Yeah. I'm waiting Talk on you to shit, return Drake. the favor. Like. Took your fucking shit. Yeah. Took your shit, man. Let's get to the facts. Let's get to the facts. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was hard. I don't know what the fuck in there saying. Oh, it wasn't that good a response. Shut up, man. Shut up. When's the last time you got a dance record out of Kendrick? Come on, man. Shut up, man. Exactly. He gave you one good, decent dance record and everyone's fucking getting excited. That was fucking hard. Let's not lie. That was hard. 
That was more than fucking good. More than good. Bar for bar, spa for spa, line for line. Now he, needs, now he needs to come back with direct, direct stuff. Do you know what I mean? Direct shit, direct shit. Come on, man. Come on. Let's fucking go. That was fucking good. I really enjoyed that. I'm not sure what people are talking about. I really bloody enjoyed that. I thought that was absolutely incredible. I was really, really infused with that record. I'm not even going to lie. I was fucking infused. I'm going to, so infused, I'm going to fucking get the lyrics up on Genius. I'll have to give it a first listen to with Virgin Ears and then get the Genius up here to see what I want for real. And then we're going to spin that back one more time without my fucking breathing in the background. Let's fucking go, man. I, I, I love the opening line, to be fair. The surprise winner is definitely spiraling. Oh, I fucking love it. You know what I mean? Kendrick opened his mouth, give him a Grammy now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love how much... I love how much Kendrick hates Drake. And I love how much Drake despises Kendrick. I, I fucking love it. Because they're two sides of the same coin, but they hate each other's artistry on either side. I mean, Kendrick hates that Drake is commercial and super successful. And Drake hates the fact that Kendrick gets away with being like ephemeral and like, you know, mysterious and backpacky and like, you know, takes time away and shit. I love it. I love it. Unfortunately, I would want both of these guys on the same record because I think it would absolutely destroy. I'd love to see the debates if they did a mixtape together or something on EP together and they did, and, they just, and they, they went back to back, bar for bar, bar for bar. I think it would be phenomenal. It would be so cool to see the debates online about who had the better verse and shit. But unfortunately, we're never going to get that. We're never, ever going to get these two guys on the same record. That's the only sad thing about the beef. The beef is like getting to a point now, especially with Drake, you know, basically saying that one of Kendrick's kids has been fathered by his fucking best friend and manager and agent guy in fucking day three. Those type of allegations you put out there aren't great. Um, the fact that Drake is exposed, that Kendrick might have a fetish for the old white ladies out there um, is definitely not great either. I wonder as well, is, that, is there any connection between that, between allegedly Kendrick's wife is half Norwegian and I think in Mr. Morale, he basically confesses to cheating a lot. And I think a lot of it has to do with when he came to Europe. And specifically when he, he went to Scandinavia. He was piping down everything that was moving. So I wonder if that's any connection to that. Whether or not he's just he's just got like a Scandi thing. Whether or not that's one of his little, you know, what, whether that's something he's just, you know, he just can't avoid the old Scandi thing. Um, but anyway, let's just play it one more time. I'm going to play it without my mouth noises, without my fucking breathing. Because I fucking love this record. I really fucking do. Let's go. Let's hear this, man. Because this is, this is fucking awesome. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you get and get stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation we plotted for a week and then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old i bet he takes it we thought about giving a fake name or a destination but you so thirsty you're not concerned with investigation instead you in that venice studio it's a celebration you gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient your fans are rejoicing thinking this is my expiration even the picture you use the jokes and the medication the maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation master manipulator you bid on a speculation you Dumb and reactive, nigga, I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave Free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection, so neglected. 
That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with It's so excessive, they acting like it's so aggressive But you just never known affection I don't wanna diss you anymore, this really got me second guessing Touch my body by Mariah Carey play, you probably start reflecting I never been with no one underage But now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never healed and how they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeding resentment. Not sure how to ease the sentiment. The shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents. But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you left D flat, D major. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross hair like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Yo ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you're sending commissary when he needs some paper. I'll be dropping soon. No wonder you turn to clout chase instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. When, when I, I say, say I hit you back, back it's a lot safer. I promise. I promise. Woo! Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like, it's good mm. to get out, get the pen working. Yeah. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though. Like. Mm. You got ten, ten more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. <laughs> I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't <laughs> tripping down on some other <laughs> bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game. Like, you know. But just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. <laughs> as a Drake fan and as a fan of music, I think this end bit is a bit funny. I don't know why. He sounds kind of mad. <laughs> he sounds kind of mad. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. He sounds really annoyed that Kendrick had that. He's got one in this in this beef. Kendrick's definitely got one hit record in "Not Like Us," right? That's definitely a bop. Drake sounds pissed off about that. Like he sounds pissed off that Kendrick has used the beef to generate a hit, and now he's getting loads of love for it, and people are saying it's dead because that's a, that's a narrative online. The narrative online is that the beef was over as soon as "Not Like Us" dropped because some freaks out there have it like free zero. That Drake didn't have any records that beat, which which is fucking insane. I had it at two two. Um, when not like us dropped, I had it at three two. Um, now personally, I have it at three three. You guys can say what the fuck you want, but I think I think this is definitely not as far flung on either side. Like I think if you're being favorable, if you want to be super favorable, you'd probably say Kendrick's up maybe three two three one. But to say Drake hasn't got one record that has beat Kendrick in his beef is fucking insane. Especially when one record was fucking a verse. You know what I mean? Half, you know, a, a, what, a 32 verse on a fucking record that isn't yours doesn't count as you winning. I don't care how good it is. It's not that good. So um, anyway, that beside it, I feel like Drake got a little bit pissed off that he was able, Kendrick was able to generate a hit record and not like us. So he seems a little bit agitated about that. Um, The whole... The whole facts thing is what I'm not really too sure about. I'm not going to lie because I think I think lying and misdirection in rap beefs is kind of what it's about. Rap beefs aren't really about telling the facts or the truth. It's about lying. It's about lying, misdirection, and about casting doubt. Like, whenever you watch battle rap, 
sometimes you don't know if the person that's rapping in that battle knows that information, if they're alluding to something that might be true, or if they're just making it up and trying to throw aspersions on somebody because they might look a certain way. If they call them a PDF, does it mean they're a PDF? Or is he saying they're a PDF because they look like a PDF? Do you know what I mean? So sometimes just throwing out shit and seeing what sticks is the right way to go about with beefs. Because if it was just about facts, it'd be a bit boring. You kind of have to in include a little bit. It's like um, it's like when fighters promote fights. Do you know what I mean? That trash talk, you know, you just say shit for the sake of saying it to get under someone's skin, hoping that they're going to react. So I don't really get why Drake is pissed off that Kendrick might be running with the narrative. Like he lacks kids and stuff, right? Obviously, it isn't true. We know Drake isn't out here smashing 16-year-olds. But it is funny and it does cast aspersion and make him look away when we see clips of him on the stage with a girl that says she's 17 and then he's kissing. You know I mean, and of course, the Millie Bobby Brown stuff, texting her, which I, which I think was blown out of proportion personally. Um, I think it's perfectly reasonable. Like if fucking Courtney Kardashian, remember Courtney Kardashian? If the Kardashian were hanging around, if, wasn't Courtney Kardashian like hang fucking Justin Bieber when he was like late teens or something? Do you remember that era? There was an era where, where Justin Bieber was like with the Kardashians all the time. So this is a thing in Hollywood. Young kids just hang out with the older folk. Um, who's the other girl? Uh, something, what's her name? Is it Addison Lee? Is it oh, Ad oh, Addison Ray? Addison Ray again, she's a young girl, but she was hanging around with Courtney Kardashian for a while. Like, and they were kind of friends when it's weird because that should be her auntie. Hollywood is just odd like that. So the Drake and Millie Bobby Brown thing, I didn't really think much of it. I just thought that was like more so Drake you know, quote unquote, being inspired by her on like Stranger Things and wanting to lend a helping hand. Like she texts him and says, oh, I'm a big fan of you. Like, because I think that's what basically happened. Like she reached out to him first and said, yeah, okay, cool. You're a big fan. Hey, I'm Drake. Let me just give you some advice about the industry and shoot some shit. Yes, it looks a bit funny that he's texting a girl that's that young, but I don't think it's as malicious as people try to make it, make it seem as. But again, it doesn't matter. It's a beef. Kendrick, Kendrick did well to run with that narrative because there's a lot of that. There's a lot of people out there who think that Drake is some sort of, um, you know, molester or something. So I think that was a smart tactic to kind of go with. Um, again, I think in general, it's a fucking hard diss track. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was nice to hear him kind of calm and measured and just going for Kendrick's jugular. Um, if anything, I think maybe the approach of, uh, maybe the, because maybe the order is wrong. Maybe Drake should have dropped this after 6.16 maybe that way around and then when Kendrick dropped not like us he should have dropped you know um family matters maybe it would have looked a bit better because when he dropped family matters and then Kendrick dropped not like us and then you drop this you kind of lower the tempo down right you're kind of bringing it back slower again you're kind of being a bit more methodical you're being a little bit more serious and direct but everyone's still got not like us over your whole in their head do you know what I mean so it's probably hard to get out of your head and think this is a good record but in isolation if you just listen to this without thinking about all the other shit and just listen to this record by itself it's a fucking it's fire flames no choruses no nothing just straight verses of him just dissecting and going through fucking kendrick and reminding everybody that he's that guy um i'd love to i'd love to hear kendrick address the day free shit though if that's true that's fucking insane your best friend and agent manager whatever the guy you run the label with allegedly fucked your girl and, and got her pregnant and then that kid is now his but you don't know or you do know and you're just keeping it out of the fucking public eye because that could be a thing imagine because kendrick said him on mr morale that he cheated a bunch right that was he's like 444 cool so imagine they agreed behind the scenes to just be okay with it like hey you did your dirt he did dirt with me one day because he was comforting me and you know because this it, it tends to happen uh, it, this happens more often than not doesn't it it's quite sad when it does happen. Like a best friend getting with their his best friends like Mrs. is a is a story as old as time. But I'd like to hear Drake address it directly. Because we have got the cover out here, right? That features a DM between Drake and Day Three twenty two weeks ago with uh with the black heart emoji and him putting a heart sign. So I'm not too sure what this is relating to. Maybe his Drake is saying, Hey, I speak to Day Three. Like me and Day Three were cool at one point, so which is odd as well, right? If Kendrick is beefing with Drake or if Kendrick hates Drake, like, why is Day 3 talking to Drake? You know, that's an odd thing. I'd be pissed off. Like, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't tell anybody not to talk to somebody because I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't want anyone to feel that I'm that bothered. But it would make me feel away if I find out that my best friend and business partner 
was talking to a guy who I'm a, you know, I, I declared who I fucking hate, basically, sworn enemy of, um, who I don't agree with at all in any point of view. I don't stand for what he stands for, you know, whatever. I, I would I would feel away if I was Kendrick, if I found out day three was talking to Drake and they were on DM terms to the point where he's sending him black heart emojis and shit. That's some wild shit, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's some wild shit. That is some wild, 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 wild shit. But I love it, man. I love it. What do you mean, look at the likes? Oh, the likes. Okay, I, I don't care about that shit, man. Like, I, I form my own opinion. My own opinion is the fucking record is fire. Um, The likes, what's that? The likes here, I said 384,000 upvotes, 251 downvotes. So I guess by the internet terms, this is the first L that Drake has taken via the, if you agree by the internet terms. Personally, I don't give a fuck what the internet thinks. Um, I have my own opinion and I think this record is hard. But I guess the internet doesn't agree. The internet, um, but you know, it's very close. But basically the internet is saying they don't like it. Let me refresh it one more time. Shit. That's kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. Drake doesn't, Drake never gets this kind of ratio, does he? Um, again, I like the record, but Drake doesn't really get this ratio. Wow. Okay. The views are still where they are, right? Four million views. I refresh the screen again. Let's see what the ratio is saying now again. The ratio... Okay, now it's 406,000 to, to uh, upvotes or likes to 279,000 dislikes. But still a little bit too close for, for comfort, isn't it? You don't want that. It's not that great. But still. Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is fine. In. 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding it's, but that's out the in small thing. town. But it's not trash, though. What is this? It's not trash. Why are people saying it's trash? It's not trash. You might not like it, but it's not. Again, these. Are, I think this, I, this is why I, I remember I stopped talking hip hop on this channel and stuff, or just in general online. There's so many. The, the, why do people use such big language? Trash. Like, like it, how is this trash? Like, when have you heard Drake spit like this? Like, since. Everyone's been begging him to rap rap. He's rap now rapping, and everyone's saying it's trash. Trash in comparison to what? To what Kendrick put out. One of the best MCs in the, in the game. A guy that people didn't think Drake could fucking compete against. Come on, bro. Come on. Trash, you know? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> like I said, the order is messed up. Maybe Drake should have released this after 616 in LA. Maybe. But to say it's trash is... You're being like... You know, you're lying to yourself. The, the, the record isn't trash. Um, let's see if there's anything else dropped. Let me go on Hip Hop Reddit quickly. And let's see if anything else dropped. Actually, let me go on the Hip Hop Reddit and I want to see what the, what the, what the fucking climate is. Because the Hip Hop, I know, I know Hip Hop Heads Reddit isn't the best, you know, judge. But let's see what Hip Hop Reddit is saying anyway in general. I'm curious to see what they're saying. Oh, really? Rick Ross responded. What? What did Rick Ross say? Huh. Okay, let's see what Rick Ross said. Rickos also got involved. Let's see what people are saying on the Heart Part 6 subreddit. So Heart Part 6 reaction. And we've also got a reaction here, courtesy of Rick Ross. So let's see what I go on. I want to see what Rick Ross is saying. And I want to get the, I want to get, I want to judge the climate of the diss record based on what people are saying on Reddit as well. So let's, let's pull this song one more, one more time back. And let's play that bitch again because I, I like it. I don't know why people are saying it's trash. I think it's fucking hard. You guys are fucking you got you guys are spiraling. Not Kendrick spiraling. You guys are fucking spiraling if you think it's shit. I think it's hard. Alright. Oh, okay. So um the 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 the, the cover isn't a comment. The cover is day three leaving a message on Whitney's Instagram. The black heart. Okay, cool. Oof. Bit sus, isn't it? I don't know how people feel about that. About your friends leaving heart emojis on under your girl's pictures. I'm not too sure what the protocol is on that sort of stuff. Especially with niggas. Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you getting your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor. And 
Yeah, that, that's true. What Jordan Ray is saying is true. Drake went from what's the, the hold up, get in the booth, to I know you got 10 more songs. Yeah, to be fair, the end bit is a bit sassy and a little bit unnecessary. But again, you have to read you have to read into what you have to kind of look into what Drake is saying a little bit deeper. From the beginning, I think Drake has always felt like Kendrick has got unfair amount of leeway and good grace from the public because he feels like Kendrick doesn't partake enough. He do, he's not he's not active enough. He's not in the dojo. He's not out here putting records and competing with all the youngsters. Like Drake is out here having to compete with Yeats and the Destroy Lonelies and all these kind of kids, right? And he's kind of having to go record for record with these kids as they're in there fucking, as they're coming up. So I feel like Drake has always felt like Kendrick gets away with it. He doesn't have to do what he has to do to kind of keep himself relevant. So now they finally start beefing or not, you know, and, that, and then Kendrick along the way is always sniping and they're both kind of subbing each other. And then Drake releases a record and it takes Kendrick a while to respond. So in Drake said, he's like, look, now this guy has gone missing in the, in the heat of battle. And people are still giving him, because that's the thing people don't remember. When Drake, when Kendrick was quiet, Kendrick fans were also quiet. They were making bare excuses for Kendrick. They were, oh, no, it's all right, whatever. And Drake was putting out records and still kind of being on his head top. Now Kendrick has finally stepped out. Everyone's kind of pretending like they weren't, you know, saying what they were saying previously. So I understand Drake's frustration. I just think it comes across a bit mad. It comes across a bit mad at the end because it sounds like he's angry that Kendrick's got a hit record and not like us. You can't be angry at that. Just drop another one on his head top. Do you know what I mean? But I think, you know, probably deep down, he probably doesn't think he deserves that level of attention. Maybe. But, you know, it's too late now. We're all looking. You know, it's one of them kind of things. And it kind of reminds me, I don't know, I get the feeling like deep down, this is a thing that I, people don't really understand this, but I think in beef, especially in rap beef, I think you actually have to hate the person. I don't honestly, this, this sounds odd, but I don't think Drake hates Kendrick as much as Kendrick hates Drake. So it's probably way harder to even like do it, you know? Kendrick has a lot more hate towards Drake because he hates him as a person, as a rapper, what he represents. He hates everything about the guy which is clear when you listen to the raps. That's why the raps hit so good. That's why it's so funny. Drake, I don't think, hates Kendrick as much as Kendrick hates Drake. Maybe he hates the fact that, again, he's not he's not active and he still gets prizes and he's awarded at the Grammys and he's lauded by the critics and shit because, for sure, Kendrick is more of a critic's choice, right? He's more of a media darling than maybe a, a Drake is. Cool. But I don't think he hates him as much. So probably he's finding it difficult to like muster up the energy to kind of go back and forth with him because like i don't really care about you we're not in the same league do you know what i mean like it is what it is you do your thing i do my thing but unfortunately now we're all outside you know that's the thing it's like when it's like imagine like someone's about to start a fight with you right but you don't want to fight them then suddenly everyone starts opening their windows pulling out their phones to record you have to fight now because we're all watching you can't walk away because if you walk away you look like a pussy so Drake has to has to squabble now. Unfortunately, he doesn't want to squabble, but he has to. Somebody put it on him. We're all watching now. We all have our phones out. So he has to fucking squabble. But I just don't think he wants to. He's not bothered. You know? That's that's just me. Dan P said, Ago, would you meet up a fifth a sixteen year old fan? Would you take her out for dinner and other stuff? Of course I wouldn't. Why would I do when did Drake take out a sixteen year old fan? What the fuck are you guys talking about? He took out a 16 year old on a date. Drake's 16 year old date. What? Who's this? What? Who's a, who's a 16 year old girl that he took out? I see he took out that girl's 18, Bella Harris. Again, not for me, but she's 18. That's not 16. Oh, here we go. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Drake has actually been seeing his new girlfriend since she was 15 and fans are really uncomfortable. Excuse me? Who? Drake definitely has been in Toronto's favourite person as of late, which is for someone like Drake is a hard thing to achieve. After ditching his two scheduled appearances in the city as well as rescheduling two Toronto shows, he left a lot of fans annoyed as he came to the rest of his Scorpion tour. Though his knack for cancelling on Toronto isn't the only reason why Drake's left a sour taste in fans' mouths. Oh man, why are the guys behind the fucking paywall? Are you dumb? What? A 6-2? Let's see this shit. What are these guys talking about here? Surely not my guy. Surely not. 
he dated this Bella Harris girl when she was 15. When the fuck did that happen? Why did, how did I miss that news? Hold on. No way. Okay, let's go. Let's see this one. So let's see this Vice article. So let's cut, let's cut right to the chase. Drake is reportedly dating a teenager. The 41-year-old rapper, who has been often linked with more age-appropriate women, including Jennifer Lopez, was recently seen dining with 18-year-old model Bella Harris in Washington, D.C., according to Page Six. A photo of Harris' Instagram feed shows the pair embracing somewhat awkwardly, Drake giving up a handsy uncle with the caption, No place I'd rather... <laughs> No place I'd rather be, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hmm. Maybe that's his cousin, though. Maybe that's like a cousin. Maybe that's like a family friend. Maybe that's a he's meant. It's a mentor thing, right? That's what you do when you mentor girls, right? You 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 go eye. You you you're like eyelid to eyelid, right? You're like cheek to forehead. That's what you do. When you're when you're mentoring somebody, you know what I mean, you go like lower hand, you know, at the spine on the back, and you pull them into your fucking, pull them in. That's what you do when you're mentoring. You pull them in like that. Eh? That's what you do when you're mentoring. You pull them in, bro. Oh, sorry, I haven't got a screen. My bad. My bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. You pull them in when you got a screen. There we go. This one, right? You pull them in when you got them on the on that. That's what you do with it. Yeah? We've all we've all taken pictures like this with our nieces and with our nieces, right? We've all taken pictures like this with our cousins, right? With our family friends, right? We've all done this before, haven't we? We've all been this close, eye eyeball to eyeball, right? Cheek to forehead. We've all been this close to our family relatives, right? Especially when they happen to be super attractive, model looking girls. This is this makes complete sense, doesn't it? This is perfectly fine. I don't see anything wrong with this. Um, the 31 year old rapper has often been linked with the more age appropriate women including Jennifer Lopez was recently seen dining with the 18 year old model oh yeah didn't Drake smash ben Jennifer Lopez allegedly shit he's got a mad record uh, Bella Harris in Washington DC a photo Instagram da, da, da. it appears that the pair initially met when she attended Drake and Future's summer 16 <sighs> summer 16 tour in <laughs> It's summer 16 tour. It's fuck now looking at it. The summer 16 tour sounds fucking insane. Summer 16. I bet. I bet Crystalia was there. I bet Crystalia was there, isn't it? Summer 16 tour. I bet Crystalia was there. I bet Crystalia was a VIP. Um, which is oddly poetic because it would have been 16 at the time if we're doing the math right. Six fucking teen. Harris also posted an Instagram photo of the American Music Awards later that year. Congratulations. Drake, sorry. Harris, daughter of legendary music producer Jimmy Jam, is a model who recently graduated from high school. So she's a model and also has a father that works in music. I don't think that's that crazy. I could see Drake meeting her because of her dad and then just being friendly with her. I don't think this is that deep. I know it looks mad, but I don't think it's that deep. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's that deep. I swear to God. Maybe, maybe I'm fucking capping. But I don't think it's that deep. Let's go to her Instagram. Who's who, who's Bella Harris? Man, never heard of a Bella Harris. Who's who's the fuck's a Bella Harris? So she's not sixteen anymore by the looks of the of the pictures. But God damn it, Drake. Let's see. Bella Harris, Bella B. Hundred and two thousand followers. Standard model account, you know, hot girl shit everywhere. She got the tatters out in one picture here. So yeah, standard hot girl shit. So how does she now? If she was sixteen, so what is she now? Like t early twenties, probably. Because I think when that article was written, she's eighteen. So now she's probably like early twenties. I'm assuming. So that's the that, that's the thing with that's the thing with this age shit, right? So when she's six, when she's eighteen, and he's allegedly seeing her, it's weird. Now that she's mid twenties, but still looks the same, what is it okay now? Age thing is odd because what's Drake like? Thirty seven, thirty eight. How how old is Drake? How old is Drake? Is he like thirty thirty seven? 
So if she's like 25, he's more than 10 years older than her. But still, she's 25 years old, isn't it? It's not for me. I wouldn't necessarily date a 25-year-old, but, you know, these are rock stars, pop star guys. It's a bit different with these guys. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I'd, I'm not going to lie. In the long and short of it, when it comes to relationships, especially if someone's of age, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to lie. I really don't. I think time should be best spent actually focusing on legit pedos. Um, is it a bit weird? Yeah. Would I personally do it? Nah. But am I going to fucking go in the street and protest? Probably not. And again, he's the, as he says in the raps, Drake's a big star. If he legitimately was a PDF, you know what I mean? People would be pr protesting outside of his raves, so outside of his fucking concerts. He'd be getting cancelled left, right, and centre. There's no way he could get away with it. So I don't really buy too much into that sort of stuff. I'm not going to lie. I know it sounds a bit wild, but I don't really buy into it too tough. Um, let's hear the Rick Ross response. What's Rick Ross saying? Oh, Rick Ross re replied in the IG on a, on a vi random IG video. Rick Ross replied. Let's see what IG's Rick Ross is saying. Big up the hip hop heads and what do you call it? Reddit for posting this. Drake, sorry, Rick Ross responds to Drake's diss via his IG story. What are you saying here? We just heard that new BBL Drizzy, the diss, the bomb. I hold your head up, cut it off like Rick Ross and hold it up. Himalaya, Anastasia, Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> man. Looking bad. Looking bad, man. Fantasia, you might as well go on and tell your story. <laughs> go to Mari Povich. <laughs> He's such a gun. Malaysia, Fantasia. Rick Ross is such a gun. Rick Ross is such a gun. Malaysia Fantasia I had to cut that shit off <laughs> Oh Alright alright So so the rappers So the fans are saying it's, it's mid The rappers are saying it's mid But then again Rick Ross is also compromised Because he doesn't like Drake anymore Oh that's fucking hilarious Fantasia Malaysia <laughs> One more time That was hilarious <laughs> We just heard that new BBL Drizzy, Baby the diss, the bomb. I hold your head up, cut it off like Rick Ross and hold it up. Himalaya, <laughs> Anastasia, Asia, Fantasia, Himalaya. <laughs> 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 Cupcake, man, you looking bad. You looking bad, man. You might as well go on Maury Povich and tell your story. Go to Maury Povich. <laughs> 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 Honestly, that's some rich guy shit in it. I want to be rich like that one day. Rick Ross is on a boat at the dead of night. What's that? Probably Sunday night, Monday morning. He's just on a boat. He's on a yacht somewhere. Where the fuck's Rick, Rick, Rick Ross going on a boat on a Monday? What the fuck's he doing on a Monday on a boat? What a good fucking life, man. <laughs> Fantasia, Malaysia, and <laughs> That was really funny. Uh, and again, an another reply from Rick Ross. What's the other reply now? Another fucking reply. Oh my God, man. Non-stop. Anastasia, Malaysia. Oh, let's see what he says here. Another another one. I just want to make this clear. White boy, they said you said if you was fucking young girls, you promised you would have been arrested. Whoever wrote that for you should have put more thought into that. White boy... It's your writers. Whatever message you translated to them, that wasn't the way they were supposed to do that. And as a writer, when it come to pedophilia, you gotta remove yourself from that. White boy, that wasn't the, the line right there. Tapped out, so we celebrating tonight. White boy tapped out. <laughs> that boy denied pedophilia, but we finna ball tonight, we going up. You already see what it is. 305 in my Yayo, double MG. We got a huge announcement coming. Nino Breeze, what it do, nigga? We love you. One time for all the real niggas worldwide. Make sure y'all holding those Luke Bel Air bottles up. One time for all the family in Africa. Hey, white boy, I hear you. You, you bowing out, it's obvious. You can't take it. You know ain't nobody playing a song about pedophilia, defending pedophilia in the club. We don't do that. 
But this ain't over the Ricky Rose say it's over. Cause you tapping out, you tapping out, you know everybody see it. But like I said, we finna party tonight and it ain't over till the boss says so, you hear me? Listen, we keeping Drake away from the car show cause the kids are welcome. <laughs> Nobody with that background, no, shall be allowed <laughs> on the promised land premises. <laughs> He's such a gun. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it drink away from the car because <laughs> kids are alive. <laughs> oh, he's such a prick, man. Ah, oh! oh man, yo, big up Mark, you big up Mark Yeller, big up Mark Yeller, brother. Salute, salute, my guy, salute, my guy. Godspeed, safe journey on the fucking old bussy bus. You feel me? Hold on tight, motherfucker. There's no seatbelts on that shit. You gotta hold on to the poles. That's what you do on the bus. You gotta hold on to the fucking poles. No seatbelts. You gotta hold on to the seat in front of you and hope nothing crazy happens. But big up Mark Yellow. Appreciate you, brother. Um, yeah. I personally like the record. Everyone else saying they don't like it. I personally like it. I know the comments aren't too favorable, but I like it. Um, I think Drake did his ting. I think Drake did his ting. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? Any more updates here? We haven't got any more updates, have we? So we heard we heard what Drake said. We heard what Ricky Ross said. Any more updates regarding the beef? Nothing else in it. BBO Drizzy, who's that? I don't know who that is. This beef is basically the prestige. What's that mean? Uh, what is happening here? Actually, let me see the comments via the, about the Drake thing. I want to see what's the what's the Drake thing. Let's see what the leaks are. What people are saying on the Reddit about the Drake response. What what's the response been like? Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. We got the first one. This whole beef has been a revival of this once dead sub. Exactly, exactly. The sub, the hip hop head sub is back. It went through a bit of a lull, but now it's back. Exactly. Um, twenty minutes after the academic starts streaming, LMAO. The most insane week in hip-hop history, true. Bro lost the fun tone from Family Matters. Not even mad tones, this dude on some sad tones. I don't even want to diss you anymore. Laying the ground for him bowing up because he feels bad for Dot being molested, which is genius over here. Completely misinterpreted too. Oh, okay, cool. Mother I, so I Sober um, is a pretty explicably not about Drake being molested. It's from the Genius page. Oh, Mother I Sober is, pre is pretty explicitly not about Kendrick. So that bar that K Drake was using about Mother I, Mother I, Mother I is actually not about him. So Drake misinterpreted the Kendrick bar. Whoa. Okay. So I guess they're one for one when it comes to misinformation, right? Drake thought he had he had a, a bomb there, but it's not true. This mom, My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, oh, wait a second, that's one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made a whole connection. This is about to get desperate. This is about to get so depressing. This is that trauma from your own confessions. This is when your father leave you home alone with no protection, so neglected. That's why these pedophile raps is shit you're obsessed with. It's so excessive. Okay. They're saying that has nothing to do with Kendrick. As a child, Kendrick's mother often asked him if his cousin had touched him inappropriately. Kendrick makes it clear that no was an honest one, but the constant questioning in um, itself felt traumatized him. It's later revealed that his mother's instances of knowing the truth was because she was sexually assaulted herself. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we need to we, 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 we need to do a song about how we totally don't diddle kids. <laughs> He said, nah, Kenny, I'm too famous to diddle Kenny. <laughs> okay, now I see what people are saying now. That's what Rick Ross is saying. Your defense can't be, if I, if I did it, I would be arrested. But what else are you meant to say, though? If somebody accuses you of diddling and you're Drake, what else are you meant to say? I didn't do it. Okay, I didn't do it. You guys still won't believe me anyway. So I'll just say the obvious thing is like, come on, it's Drake. If I really, would, if I really did this thing, I would have got arrested. Which sounds kind of wild because I wouldn't have said that. If somebody accused me of grape, I'm saying I didn't do it. I wasn't there. I'll 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 put I'll get whatever evidence I've got to show I was in another location or whatever. I'll provide whatever evidence I can to provide that I didn't do what they said I did. 
But would I say, oh, I'm a famous person. I wouldn't have done that because it ruined my career. It's like, what? What kind of defense is that? Huh? So, okay, now I get how people are looking a bit funny. I understand. I guess Diddy and Epstein were too. Um, Denzel Curry's response. What did he say? What did Denzel Curry say? What, what's Denzel Curry's response? Why why people listen to Denzel Curry? Because he's a good rapper as well, I guess. Because Denzel Curry's a very proficient with the raps too. People are suggesting Denzel Curry knows what he's talking about. That's what the fuck you go with? Stop. Ah, okay. Everyone say the same thing. Dude, trust me. Look, look at the look at the first comment. Denzel Curry wasn't a fan of Drake's reply. That's what you go with. Stop. The first reply. Saying I'm not a pedo, I'm too famous for that, and then laughing at him being molested got to be the worst spin for a diss record I've ever seen. Oh, no. People are saying Drake didn't do well. Damn. Kendrick definitely about to drop in 20, 30 minutes. Um, Millie's name invoked a couple of times in this beef. If he comes in hot on a Metro beat, spitting bars with Dot and receipts, I'm removing every Drake single I have on my Spotify. Kendrick fit in to drop in 30 minutes. Drake on Insta. And we know you're dropping six minutes after, so instead of posting my address, you have a lot to address. Bro really said I expect you to take the SP angle. Bro, that's not a good thing. Yeah, exactly. Bro really said I expected you to take the Epstein angle. Bro, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so you recorded a whole music video for Family Matters, but ain't recorded nothing for feeding Kendrick information about Double Agent. Oh, okay. Man couldn't even understand the lyrics to Mother Eyes Sober. <laughs> I think he misunderstood. Oh, so they're saying Drake completely misunderstood Mr. Morale. I think it misunderstood Mr. Morale as a whole. Every time he takes a shot at Kendrick with something, the album he took, he never talks about it in the right context. Fabricate so the family front because you heard Mr. Morale. So, but Mr. Morale was about him coming to, it's about Kendrick coming to terms of being a flawed human being. And Drake's now taking it as like, what? He's, a, I don't know. I don't know. Bro, what is this? He literally just said, he's just too famous to be fucking young girls. Is this man for real? Did Drake just say the only reason Kendrick is calling him out for being a pedo is because Kendrick got sexual assault when he was a father left? <laughs> Dude literally says, this is why you're invested in pedophile shit. What the fuck? If I was assaulted, I would want victims to come out and express those abusers. Man's literally telling him his words don't matter because he's been through it. Kendrick, you fell for my trap. Making the entire work for a camera pedo. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, this comment is fucking brutal. Kendrick, you fell for my trap, making the entire world think I'm a pedophile. Ah, oh, Drake, bro. What happened, man? Oh, what happened? What happened? Damn it! Yeah, you guys in the chat were right. You guys in the chat were right. I still like the record, but you guys in the chat were right. And to be fair, the internet never lies. The dislike ratio is kind of wild for a Drake record, right? It's kind of wild, the dislike ratio. And the comments are frying him up. They're frying him up on here. Let's actually, let's actually, let's actually write Drake. Let's, let's, let's see what people are saying about Drake. Let's see on a, on a trending comment. Let's see what people are saying. Niggas finally seeing Drake ain't that special of a rapper. Drake only path to victory at this point. Wow. So yeah, the tre the trending, even the trending are saying it. What's this? What's this about? What's this? I prayed for this and it happened. <laughs> Okay. I prayed for Drake's only path to victory. Now I gotta pull up. Everybody dying, me included. I ain't going to jail. <laughs> now I gotta pull up. Everybody dying, me included. I ain't going to. Drake is a creep. Drake, I never did anything with Millie Bobby Brown. Everybody with a brain. What? What's everybody with a brain? What? Jail. What? What's... Now I gotta pull up. Air What's this? Everybody with a brain. What happened here? <laughs> Damn, Drake really might be a sex trafficking pedophile. <laughs> what? Kendrick in the booth preparing the final diss track to end Drake. 
<laughs> oh man, my guy, man. What well going for my guy? I don't like this, man. Drake drops a heart part six, everyone. Ah, uh, my computer's getting a bit fuggity fuck fuck fuck. What's it saying? Everyone what? Oh. Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wap, 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 wap. That fuck em up. Wap, 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 wap. I'ma do my stuff. Certified. Certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Oh, Kendrick. <clears throat> Drake is a pedophile. Drake. I never touched Millie Bobby Brown. Everyone. <laughs> Kendrick called Drake a pedo and the first thing Drake does is name drop an alleged victim. You might need to be a bit smarter than that. <laughs> you might need to Whether you believe it or not, Drake's response is a masterclass in this shit. This is the way the only way to respond and he did it beautifully. What a track, the ominous sound of it. I got a cha, like a twist in the movie. Kendrick, do you like teenagers? Drake. When you say teenage, how are we talking? <laughs> Girls who are teenagers. When you say teenage, how are we talking? <laughs> Girls who are teenagers. When you say teen Live footage of Drake fans that are on Twitter saying he's winning the battle. Are you gay? Yes, I am. Are you gay? <laughs> yes, I am. Are you gay? No. Yep. Are you gay? Yes, I am. You? Yeah. Are you gay? Yep. Are you gay? Yes, Having a good time? Yes, you... Drake's whole 10 year identity dismantled by a catchy phrase on an instrumental is diabolical. You cannot make this up. <laughs> the Kendrick. The Drake and Kendrick beef in a nutshell. I'm impressed. Where do you want to die? I'll honor any request, Kendrick says. Wow. Me in 2058 showing my grandkids a timeline of Epic Drake Beef. That's history. Right there. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't buy it still. I don't think it's that bad. Let's continue with the Reddit. This most offensive this record I've ever heard. Uh I don't get it. If the door allegations are false, why didn't he just wait to drop the bomb instead of running to TMZ and IG to first? Yeah, if you really fed that info, why would he take track? Yeah, exactly. Not IG story already. Hmm. Top comment on YouTube. This is really gonna untouch those kids. Really? Is that what someone says? In the in the comments. I actually I didn't check the actual comments of the of the re record. What what did I say? This beef will be generational. Who else wanna bet Kendrick is about to drop a response in an hour? Ah, you fell for my greatest gambit. I merely wanted you to think I was a pedophile. Like, Drake is twirling his moustache pretending to be some Machiavellian Bond villain with that one, LMAO. I don't want to diss you anymore, question mark. Whoever wrote that is the rat for sure. This whole beef has been the best part of 2024. This is going to make a movie about this. Kendrick going to drop before I'm done listening. For the next few months, Drake ain't going to hear nothing else other than probably a minor and OVO Ho at every club. This is sad, man. Why is Drake ending his own career? Now it makes more sense the line of the actor we once knew is looking paranoid. Kendrick's about to drop in 45 seconds. Haha, -ha, I expected you to call me a pedophile. Is a wild position to take. Drake the type of guy to say, Kendrick can't kill me, I kill myself. Before making this. <laughs> Do not diddle kids from Always Sunny Part 2. J. Cole in Switzerland, sun, sun gazing and smiling. Um, Flor Floribunda roses. Um, bros slid a white flag in there and thought we wouldn't notice. I don't want to diss you anymore. 
Drake with the most anticlimactic bars of 2024. We step into 2025 listening to Not Like Us. At least we know the ghostwriters are gone. Kendrick about to drop. I never looked twice at no teenager. Motherfucker, they got you on camera multiple times. <laughs> okay. Drake and Kendrick, you from... You form a beautiful duo uh, together. You know what's not a defense for pedo allegations? Calling your accuser a victim. That Drake thinks that somehow got your moment confirms everything Drake said about him. Kendrick, you're a liar and a manipulator. Drake, I lied and manipulated. <laughs> Telling someone to fact check, then not fact check yourself is something else. Drake titled The Heart Six. Kendrick, 24 hours later. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. I'd never look at a teenager twice. We look twice at those lyrics. I want you to believe I was a pedo. I want you to believe that I don't take care of my kids. You see how stupid that sounds, dog? The rabbit hole still is dug deep. I go further, I promise. Meet the Grams is played in A minor when Kendrick said, I'm about to t I'm about to up the score. Not like us is played in B minor. It's just genius work. Bros are Pulitzer for a reason. Ah, Kendrick and you fool. I actually wanted everyone to party on Cinco de Mayo and rap about pedo allegations over BBL beat. Okay, so everyone thinks Drake lost. I don't really agree. I don't actually agree, but everyone thinks Drake lost. Fuck. Oh, Drake sounds so defeated, he probably had some sleepless nights. At this point, his whole collab album between Drake and Kendrick. Bro, Drake is trying so hard to get around his allegations smoothly, it ain't happening. Drake sounds like he's giving defense to the judge. I'm just waiting for Kendrick to drop again. Bro sounds guilty as fuck. I don't have sexual relations with that A minor, Mr. Lamar. Okay. People are not happy with the Drake response. People are not happy with the Drake response. I think it's decent. Is it a, is it a fucking career ender? Probably not. But I think it's good. But people don't seem to like it. I might be the only person in the fucking internet that thinks it's a decent reply. I might be the only person in the on the internet who thinks it's a fucking decent reply. I'm the only person I think so. Who thinks it's a fucking decent reply. God damn, man. Okay. What more is there to say? I think that's it, right? We don't have anything more to post, do we here?